Germany just announced their new sulfur battery technology that is a game changer, Tesla 900 miles. Lithium sulfur batteries may be commercially available in the near future, which will astound both scientists and the business leaders. The potential energy density of lithium sulfur batteries is 2,600 watt-hours per kilogram, which is 18 times that of contemporary lithium ion phosphate batteries. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. The successful commercialization of lithium sulfur batteries is a game changer for the electric vehicle sector. Theon, a German battery research institute with over 30 world-renowned battery experts, was the first to announce the finding, which is one of the reasons their story has received so much international attention. Lithium sulfur batteries have recently received a lot of interest. The breakthrough progress of the technology has been described in several key research papers, yet it seems incredible that it will be commercialized so soon. So what did Theon Research Institute accomplish with lithium sulfur battery technology to enable the commercialization of the new batteries they developed so quickly? In today's video, we'll look at all this and more. The restricted range of electric vehicles is one of the most prevalent criticisms thrown at them. Although modern electric vehicles have a 300-mile range, some fossil fuel counterparts may travel double that distance on a single tank. What if your electric vehicle, on the other hand, could drive 900 miles on a single charge? A German battery company, Theion, is promoting technology that could provide this capability as early as 2024. According to Theion's newly appointed chief executive officer, Dr. Ulrich Eims, the company possesses the attributes essential to usher in a revolution in battery chemistry, with consequences in all major areas for electric vehicles. Marik Slavek, the company's co-founder and CTO, has been working on the technology for more than a decade, and Eims is the first to put it into production. Rare earth elements are used in electric vehicle batteries, making them expensive and ethically problematic to manufacture, especially when cobalt is supplied from the Congo. The iron strategy is to base its battery technology on minerals that are far more abundant than those used in current lithium ion cells, while still having similar energy density potential. Sulfur is the 10th most abundant element on the planet, and local sources can usually be found in any desired location around the globe. Nickel, manganese, and cobalt are used as cathodes in current battery technology. Existing battery technology, according to Dr. Ulrich Ames, uses nickel, manganese, and cobalt for the cathode. Because it's made up of 80% nickel, 10% cobalt, and 10% manganese, it's referred to as NMC-811. They use sulfur instead of NMC-811 in this example. He also said that they do not have nickel, manganese, or cobalt, and that they use graphene to replace the current collective folds of copper and aluminum. So our cells don't have any aluminum or copper either. In their cells, they just have lithium metal foil, sulfur, and carbon. What are the advantages of the ion's revolutionary battery chemistry? In actuality, current battery technology allows an EV to travel 900 miles. The weight of the battery and the required space would be a challenge. Current electric vehicles get 3 to 5 miles per kilowatt hour. However, if driven enthusiastically or in extreme conditions, this value might be substantially higher. Assume a rate of 4 miles per kilowatt hour. To travel 900 miles, you'll need 225 kilowatt hours. The Model 3 2170 batteries already have a density of 260 watt hours per kilogram. Advanced technology, on the other hand, can achieve a density of 350 watt hours per kilogram. With a density of 350 watt-hours per kilogram, a 225 kilowatt-hour battery would weigh 643 kilograms, but 865 kilograms with Tesla's 2170 cells. It's easy to see why no other EV on the market today delivers a 900-mile range when a Tesla Model 3 long range weighs 1,850 kilograms. The weight of the battery is determined by the gravimetric density of the cells, but another factor to consider is the volumetric density which refers to how much area the batteries take up. According to Tesla, the Model 3 2170 batteries have a volumetric density of 416 kilowatt hours. While weight is crucial, you also need to fit your batteries into a decent amount of space to accommodate passengers and luggage. While most modern designs place the batteries beneath the floor in a skateboard structure to maximize space, many electric vehicles still sit higher than their internal combustion counterparts to provide the required floor thickness. Tesla gave up both gravimetric and volumetric density when it switched to LFP batteries in the basic Tesla Model 3 in Europe due to the technology's drawbacks compared to lithium ion. Nonetheless, because the battery box on the Vehicle 3 was designed to support the larger batteries found in the Tesla Long Range and Tesla Performance models, 
this entry-level vehicle may require additional battery box space. As a result, Tesla looks to have boosted battery capacity to satisfy the new Global Harmonized Light Vehicle testing process, range of 305 miles, but at the expense of acceleration due to the added weight of LFP. The ION's technology, according to AMPS, will dramatically improve the weight and volume density of its batteries, allowing them to be lighter or take up less space while still delivering the same amount of power. The ION's current Generation 1 technology exceeds Tesla's 2170 cells by 500 watt-hours per kilogram and 800 watt-hours per liter. However, in 2023, Generation 2 technology is expected to increase this to 700 watt-hours per kilogram and 1000 watt-hours per liter with Generation 3 technology following in 2024 at 1 kilowatt hour per kilogram and 1,200 watt hours per liter. Our 900 mile range vehicle's battery would only weigh 225 kilograms. The new Tesla Model 3 long range battery weighs about 60 kilograms less and has a 374 mile WLTP range while taking up around one third of the available space. The ti Generation 4 battery, due out in 2025, will have a slightly lower gravimetric density of 900 watt-hours per kilogram, but a greater volumetric density of 1,500 watt-hours per liter, occupying less than a quarter of the space required by a Tesla Model 3 long-range battery. The ION further claims that its Generation 3 and 4 technologies have 2,000 charge-discharge cycles, which is much more than the current 1,000 to 1,500 cycles of lithium-ion cells. Another important concern is pricing, and Theion is offering excellent discounts on this as well. Their target price, according to M, is roughly $32 per kilowatt hour, down from $97 currently. This is because Theion's materials are less expensive than its energy consumption. The amount of energy consumed in production has decreased by 90%, with batteries accounting for nearly a third of the current EV cost. This reduction would bring overall car costs closer to those of internal combustion vehicles. A 225 kilowatt hour battery with a 900 mile range may cost the same as a 75 kilowatt hour pack with a 300 mile range. If this technology performs as planned, it could eliminate one of the final big roadblocks to EV adoption. A battery for a 300 mile range city vehicle, for example, would weigh only 75 kilograms and take up less than 50 liters of space. A Tesla Model 3 long range battery with a comparable range, on the other hand, consumes 180 liters. However, if a car like a Tesla were equipped with the ION's technology, it could easily drive 900 miles or more on a single charge with a battery that is the same size and weight as the one that comes with the vehicle. Recharging a 225 kilowatt hour battery takes about 30 hours on a 7.4 kilowatt home charger, and even the fastest public DC rapid chargers can take more than an hour. You should never use a public charger if you can travel 900 miles on a single charge. While both electric automobiles and internal combustion engines were developed around the same time, EVs have progressed at a far faster pace. Although the electric vehicle as we know it today has only been in existence for about a decade, internal combustion engines have been continuously improving for more than a century. Internal combustion engines are already more enjoyable to drive, faster and cheaper to maintain than electric vehicles. It won't be long before technology like the ION allows electric vehicles to travel longer distances between refueling stops. They intend to make their technology available to the electric car industry by 2024, when electric vehicle range will be significantly increased, and the battery will weigh just 225 kilos, which is far less than most current electric vehicles. Naturally, high energy density batteries have inherent drawbacks, such as long charge time, a standard home charger will take about 30 hours to fully charge the battery, while the fastest DC fast charging charger could take up to an hour. You have the option of charging up to 80% of the total amount. Furthermore, the new battery's current cycle life is only 1,000 cycles, which could be a lithium sulfur battery characteristic. Sulfur batteries, do you think they're a good idea? So this was all. Add your thoughts in the comments section below. Also like, subscribe, and share our channel, and stay tuned with us till our next video. We will see you soon with our next video, so be with us and go watch Elon Musk just revealed the insane new $5,000 Tesla car video on your left to see some positive aspects about it as well. Or you can also watch Tesla Model Y 4680 battery will change everything on your right and learn more about the Tesla world. Thank you so much for watching.